so let's detect now all events for our mouse so all this code for was for the keyboard and so let's add a leaf event dot type equals by game dot mouse button down and let's print event so let's click so we see mouse button down position button one button one is the left or if I press the right it will be button three if I press the wheel in the center it will be button two and so at the moment we want just button one when I press when I press the left one so if event dot button equals one print uh, let's say left button so I press and let's see if I press the right one nothing happened the center nothing happened and the left it works and so uh, let's let's do something with this let's for example detect our mouse position and let's draw this circle close to our mouse I just let's like make it follow the mouse movements so we can say mouse position equals by game dot mouse dot get pause and so each time we click the left button then we are also gathering information like the X and the Y of the mouse so let's print it out print mouse position so I click and each time I click I get this position of the mouse um, yeah for the moment uh, I'm going to make that the the circle will be drawn on the mouse position just when I click it so it will be here x position circle will be mouse position 0 so we're taking the first element dx and then for y position circle it will be mouse position 1 the second element and let's run it and here we see that each time I click the position of the circle changes or we could do for example always what if we take this outside of the loop I mean not, not outside of the loop but outside of the mouse event let's say I put this one here we can even do this way we are detecting the mouse position each time and each time changing the position without needing to click so let's run in and, and see what happens and here we see that the circle is following our mouse cool what else okay there is something else I want to show in this video before I finish it this the close event now we can see that it doesn't close even if we press the X here so we need to add 
some other line in this event loop so it would be if event dot type equals by game dot quit then in this case would be by game by game dot quit and quit And here I can change this one in a leaf. Why a leaf? So each time there is a loop, so it's checking if event dot type. Uh, okay, event of type quit will close it anyway. But let's say that we press some key, then it will check if event dot type by game key down it detects that we press a key so the loop will end here there is no need to check anything else we, if we press the letter a it's useless to check if that event is a mouse button down it will be just a waste of resources that why we need to put a leaf if we put if it works anyway you can see but just a waste of resources it's not necessary so let's just say a leaf and a leaf and this is all for this video see you in the next video